So I'm a scout. Oh, hey, you cool looking fella. Mm -hmm. Huh? Are you talking to me? Hi. Yes, I'm talking to you. What do you want? Um, you don't happen to need work right now, do you? Mm. Work? What kind of work? Well, put it simply, would you be interested in working as an exotic dancer at a banana bar? Ow! Uh, goodbye. Hello everyone, my name is Josh, aka The Biscuit Eater, and I want to welcome you all to another episode of my long-form Let's Play of Yakuza Kiwami. If this is your first time at the series, do know you can find a link to the playlist in the description down below if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, of course, if you are watching live on stream, thank you very much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you interact with me while interacting with me while I play the game, doing blurbs the whole bit. Uh, but um, do note that if you would like to check out the new episodes early, I am leaving highlights of each individual episode that's going to break out on the YouTube side later on until the end of the long play here on the channel, at which point then all VODs will be over on the YouTube side. Uh, with that said, if you would like to join us live, you can do so every Monday and Wednesday from 7.30 p.m. until 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time over at twitch.tv forward slash the biscuit eater. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on way onwards on ways. Um, okay, so we are heading for uh check out what's going on with uh majima hopefully the dude's okay yeah i'm 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 not going to the tattoo parlor yet that's the next step that's actually next step in the storyline which i will do shortly thereafter but i want to check on majima majima kun first but looks like first we got to do some uh That felt good. I mean, we will eventually go after uh, the dude who sold us the uh, life stone. But that's a secondary priority at the moment. Wait, didn't I just run into her? Why did I go the other direction? I'm confused. Excuse me, sir. Whoa. Please help me. Hmm? What's wrong? Are you okay? Without it, I'm going to die. Try to stay calm. What happened? Hmm. So, what happened? Well, I got jumped from behind by these two guys, and they snatched my bag. The medicine I need to stay alive was in there. You look like the helpful type. Please, I beg of you. Can you help me get my medicine back? What did they look like? What did the men who took your bag look like? They were both tall guys, wearing red tracksuits. Two tall guys in red tracksuits, huh? Alright, wait here. Oh, thank you. Can I ask your name? Mm. Oh, it's Kiryu. Kiryu-san, it's nice to meet you. I'm Koizumi. It took off towards Theater Square. Please, hurry! Am I going to have to go all the way to theater? Uh, I'm going to have to go all the way to theater square, aren't I? You know what? Let's make this a little bit easier on myself. Oh. 
Slim Scout? Oh, hey, you cool looking fella. Mm. Huh? Are you talking to me? Hi. Yes, I'm talking to you. What do you want? Um, you don't happen to need work right now, do you? Mm. Work? What kind of work? Well, put it simply, would you be interested in working as an exotic dancer at a banana bar? Ow! Uh, goodbye. Whoa! Hey, wait! Why would I subject myself to something like that? With a body like that, why wouldn't you? Keep that chest wrapped in claws is deny the entire female population. And because you would make money. Lots of money. Please. We don't have enough men right now. And none of them are as hot as you. You'll be doing us a huge favor. Please. Oh, gosh. How bad is this going to get, Captain? Uh, we've objectified women more in this series already, so let's do it. Well, fine, I'm sold. Tell me more. Ooh, <laughs> really? Ah, thanks, fella. What exactly is this all about? Well, it's like a normal bikini bar, but with male dancers. Hence, a banana bar. Our purpose is to charm and entertain female audiences with paragons of pectoral perfection. I see. Our show is a little provocative. It's our selling point. So if you work for us, you'll be showing off some serious skin. I guess I'll do the best I can. So, first things first. We'll have training and an interview. Can you pay 10,000 yen to cover? It's a scam. It's another scam. Nanny. What? You didn't say anything about paying up front. Eh. True, I forgot to mention that. But don't worry. You'll be able to recoup that investment the first time you flex those pecs. Oh, this is so clearly another scam. Fine, it's just 10,000 yen. Okay, I'll pay. <laughs> All right, then let's go to your interview and get you set up. Oh, I haven't asked your name yet. I'm Kiryu. Got it, sorry for the late introduction. My name's Sasasu Sasasuka. Uh. Yeah, nice to meet you. Okay, then. Let's go to your interview. I wonder if this guy is legit. Oh, gee, this isn't creepy. Mm. Let's see. You're Kiryu-san, yes? My name is Tachibana. Another Tachibana? You've already paid for your training, so you can relax. This is a pretty casual interview. Mm. Well, we're the ones who scouted you, huh? And it would be shady of us to take your money without giving you a job. So please, think of this interview as a mere formality. I guess that makes sense. So, for starters, could you tell me your strengths? Strengths? What would be useful to them? I'll say... My manly and beautiful physique. <laughs> I have a manly and beautiful physique. I see, a beautiful physique. I can tell you're quite a man, but what are your finer features? Details, please. Bulging muscles, sweat rolling down my chest as I fight. If I were to compare my body to something, it would be a diamond in the rough. Don't look back. Aichibana. And a diamond never sparkles more than when another man is attempting to crush it in the heat of battle. When two men clash in combat, that's when our bodies rise to the peak of physical beauty. Uh, oh my god. It's like your words created an aura of heat around you, shining bright like a diamond. Hmm. Is it all re related to that Tachibana? Yeah, guess I got myself kind of pumped. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Hmm. Before this interview, what were you doing? What have, I, what have I been doing? I don't know whether I should tell the whole truth or just say what they want to hear. I don't look back at the past. Because I can't talk too openly about my past at a legit job. I should say something muddy, to muddy the water. Mm. Sorry, but I'm not the type to look back on the past. What's done is done. Ah. Hey, you, son. It's not really an interview if you don't answer the questions we ask. Well, sure. Sometimes reflecting on the past makes you a strong person in the present. But if you do nothing but look backwards, you can never really move forward. I live in the moment. 
That's why, no matter what happens in the past or the future, I focus on the present. Oh, so that was, you were actually giving me an answer. Okay. Well, thankfully, I kind of caught wind. Oh. Wow. I wish I could be as deep as you. <laughs> it happens. Yes, I actually succeeded in avoiding the full truth. Okay, so this is the last question. Kitty san do you remember my name? What? This guy's name? Ah, putting test. It's okay. You were Tachibana-san, right? Ooh, you remembered. Yeah, of course. I can never forget a name like that. Yes, well, listening to what someone says demonstrates a respectful attitude and makes a very good impression. It's also the name of one of the primary uh, protagonists in the last game. So, okay, that concludes the interview. Thank you for coming. Uh. Yeah, thanks. Oh, we have another prospect waiting in the next room. So we'll be in touch. Thank you again, Kiryu-san. They'll be in touch. They're going to take my money and run. <laughs> okay, thanks for coming today. That should cover everything. We'll contact you with all the details at a later date. Please come back here soon. I guess I did okay in the interview. Now I just have to wait until they contact me. Now to continue on with what I was doing. Figure I'll fast travel this time around. Here, I want to do the Majima mission, and then I want to do the storyline mission. So. Oh, pockets. Ah. Probably. I'm not going in. But now I just I know where it is, so yay. Mm. I'm nostalgic. It was like yesterday, yesterday I was aiming to design the fastest racing machine, Camarocho. Racing against my rivals, customizing cars are crazy. Those were the days. I wonder what all those kids are up to now. Have they graduated and moved on to bigger and better things? Far out! I'd know that profile anywhere! Mm -hmm. That was a right? And you must be? Oh. Yup, it's me! Mm -hmm. Actually, I forgot you who you are. What? Hey, come on! That's way harsh, kazuma oh, they, they call me the Pocket the Circuit Fighter! Fighter! The racer who does live commentary on Pocket Circuit Stadium! I was kidding. Of course I remember you. It's been a while, fighter. Dude, you really had me going for a sec there, kazuma -kun. But man, am I glad to see you again. Yeah, me too. And it's been a while since anyone's called me kazuma -kun. That's for sure. It's been 17 years, in fact. How have you been? <sighs> well, uh... Anyway, if we're gonna keep chatting... Let's take it inside the Pocket Circuit Stadium! No! I, w I have quests I want to do! Want to see the old digs, right? Uh. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> this is obviously adds to the rem remake wasn't in the original game. I would presume. Especially considering they're referring to the original game, which wasn't made yet. Hmm, from the looks of things in here, you never know it's been 17 years. Crazy. Time flies, doesn't it? You suddenly stopped showing up, so I wondered what happened to you, kazuma -kun. Oh, uh, I got busy, you know? And I just couldn't find the time to come by. I see, I see! Well, what about you? Have you been commenta commentating on the races ever since I left? Yeah. Actually, a lot's happened on my end, too. I was scouted by the Pocket Circuit League for my live commentary skills to liven up the game all over Japan. Many. Seriously, that's great. I guess so. Your devotion paid off, eh? You used to work as a part-timer making nearly a measly 850 yen per hour. 
But now you must be pretty high up the ladder. Cool. Wait. Why do you look away? Actually, the company finally recognized my efforts. And so they offered me a full-time position. Oh. So someone did notice your hard work. Yeah. But then I failed the written exam to become a full-time employee. Eh. As a result, I'm still a part-timer. My hourly rate's up to two, one, uh, 1,020 yen. Oh, I see. His wages have only gone up 170 yen in 17 years. His annual raise was 10 yen per year. That's a little sad. <sighs> Damn. We were night after 17 years and I've already made it awkward. I better say something to change the subject. Have you considered a career change? Changing jobs? Hmm. Well, I guess that's not an option. Being involved with Pocket Circuit and the children who play it is your life. It's true that I love Pocket Circuit more than anything. But now I'm at a point in my life where I have to start thinking about my future. Your future? Yeah. You were on the right track about changing jobs. What do you mean? Well, actually, I have a fiancé. What? You're engaged? You seem, uh, kind of surprised by that. Uh. Of course I'd be surprised. But I get it now. You finally found love, huh? For sure. I met her while I was traveling all around Japan. Everything really does happen for a reason. <laughs> you usually get teased about having no experience with the ladies. But I guess you've finally become a man. Oh, actually, my fiancé is a little old-fashioned. We're not doing anything, uh, like that. Until we're married. Uh, that wasn't what I... <sighs> No, it's fine. Problem is, when I went to ask her folks for their blessing to marry her, they turned me down. I believe the exact words were, you expect us to give our daughter to a guy who can't even find a full-time job? Yeah, but part-time or not, you've achieved so much as a fighter. And the kids really love you. You're better father material than I am, really. Yeah. That's not good enough. The status of being a full-time salaried employee is huge to them. Having it or not... Makes a big difference. Hmm. I never knew. Your fiancé's parents are old-fashioned too, huh? Uh. Exactly. They really care about these things. But if I let this opportunity pass by, I don't think I could ever marry. Besides, I think the world needs a few a new pocket circuit fighter anyway. Mm. A new pocket circuit fighter? That's right. More and more young racers are getting into the pocket circuit. I think the company needs to bring in new blood to keep itself going. He really does care about the future of pocket circuit. When I find my replacement, I'm going to retire and take over my family's long-established tofu business. That'd get a sure approval from my fiancé's parents. I guess that makes sense. But as you know, Pocket Circuit is super important to me. One could say that it's my entire life. I can't just give the position to any young punk off the street. I see. So I'm looking for someone who loves Pocket Circuit and can put as much passion into it as I do. Someone who loves it as much as you. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, not an easy qualification to have. Plus, I've still got my job as a current fighter, so I haven't really had time to go scouting for new candidates. I can see you're, why you're concerned about your future. It's true. You're at a major turning point in your life. Yep. And I think it's fate that we saw each other again. The next pocket circuit fighter could be you. Yeah. Nope. Oh. Then can you at least help me find someone worthy of being the next generation pocket circuit fighter? Many. You want me to look for your successor? Yup! If it's someone you recommend, I'm sure he or she could be trusted to take the reins. Hmm. Of course, I'm not asking you to look for someone right now. I'm sure you're busy doing your own thing. I'll be at the reception desk there, so come talk to me again sometime. Uh, uh sure. Got it. Finding successor for the fighter, huh? Alright, get me out of here. Let's come on. <laughs> oh, dear. Boy. Hey, what's the matter? You're Yakuza, aren't you? Yeah. No. I may have a look, but I'm not Yakuza. Uh -huh. Shut up. I don't want to hear your lies. You came here to get my, in my way again, didn't you? Nanny. Hold on. 
What? Not a chance, Yakuza. I'll kill you for trying to ruin me. All these side missions. Who's a scum? If you're gonna kill me, just get it over with. It's even worse in future games. Great. <sighs> Calm down. You're frantic. I don't know how to convince you, but I'm not Yakuza. Eh? No. You're a liar. You're just like the rest of them. What I gain out of lying to you. Besides, I don't even know what this business deal was. Oh. Sorry. Mm -hmm. What did they do to make you this afraid of them? Eh. Well, you see, I had a new opportunity lined up but it was ruined by this good-for-nothing Yakuza. It was a very important business deal that was going to put my career on the map. Thanks to the thugs, though, the negotiations were cut short. Interesting. But the Yakuza don't usually interfere with a business deal unless it's really lucrative. What happened? Well, I guess they were interested in my company. Even asked for a partnership with me. Hell, if I didn't know any better, I might have fallen for that fake company name. Hmm. I want my business to be legitimate. That means not getting in bed with Yakuza. So I rejected their offer. Oh, it isn't as bad in future games. I thought you meant isn't as bad as in future games. Mm. Now I'm seeing the picture. You're being targeted in retaliation because you wouldn't make a deal with them. Yeah. Yes. Do you see why I despise the Yakuza then? Well, I can at least understand the situation. Good enough. Look, I know I was rude to you before. And I don't deserve the answer, but could you tell me your name? Uh. Don't sweat it. My name is Kiryu. Kiryu-san. Got it. My name is Yoshioka. I'm really sorry for mistaking you for a Yakuza. Mm. I'll admit, I was surprised when you rushed me. Oh. Oh. Mm. Hmm? <laughs> well, look who we have here. If it isn't y yoshioka san I your little dilgo the other day. How dare you? Mm. Yoshioka, care to introduce us? It's them. The Yakuza have established my business deal with a bunch of nasty lies about me. Damn! You still stuck on that Yakuza BS? Get it through your head. We are not Yakuza. And sabotage? Please, give me a break. All I did was have a conversation with your friend that day. I mean, wouldn't you want to know if the person you were going into business with was a judgmental nut job? You gotta be wary of people who accuse civilians of being Yakuza. Oh! I'm sorry, we were talking about your little deal. So, it fell through, huh? Ah, oh, that's too bad, y Yoshioka. You intended for it to fail. You knew this would happen. <laughs> Whoops, was I that obvious? Damn, cat's out of the bag. You... Boy. Allow me, Yoshioka. Huh? Hey, guys. Mind give me a moment of your time? What? You got a problem, big guy? Uh. Yep. Guys like you need to learn not to meddle in the affairs of other people without so much as a care about how it affects them. Oh, and you think you're the one to teach us? Boss, you'd be surprised how convincing my fist can be. Huh? Do you have any idea who you're talking to? Here's a lesson for you. Underestimating me isn't very good for your health. You'd think these people would recognize him by sight now, you know? With his reputation. You're too damn strong. You're gonna regret costing me. That guy was a lot of hot air, but I don't know if he was Yakuza after all. Mm -hmm. Hmm? You picked a president's business card. Kiyu san, thank you so much. I don't know what I would have done without you here. First you beat me up, then you beat up the guys who beat me up. Uh. Hmm? Don't sweat it. <sighs> I feel terrible, though. I judged you on your looks and then attacked you for it. Yet you still lent me a hand. Hmm. We're fine. Nothing I'll lose any sleep over. But you should probably know, that guy wasn't Yakuza. Eh? What do you mean? Here, see for yourself. Looks like he's just a guy with a real mouth on him, but a real business to go with it. No way. How could I be so wrong about him, too? It might not mean much coming from me, but you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. I understand, Kiryu-san. 
I'll try to do better. Take this as my apology, or, well, a thank you present. Whatever you want to accept it as, it doesn't matter. Just take it. Red jewel. Okay. Oh no, that's okay. Please, I insist. I need to thank you somehow. If you must. From now on, no more judging books by their covers. You show me that people's actions are really what matters. I guess if you really read between the lines, what happened to your day was all my fault. Yeah, that's already some good progress, then. All right, dear your son. Tomorrow's going to be a new chapter for my business and a new chapter for me. I have a long way to go, but we can only turn one page at a time, right? Da -da -da -da. Wow, he really went all in on the book metaphors, but maybe I'm just reading into it too much. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can get closer. Quack! Um, did he say blue tracksuits or red tracksuits? I think he said blue tracksuits. Well, I made a theater square. He said they were wearing tracksuits, right? Danny. What? What color was I looking for again? Red. That's what I thought. Those two could be the guys. Did I say something? Those are the guys. Time to confront them. Boy. Hey, you guys. Huh? Uh, what do you want, old man? Give back the bag you stole. You guys recently stole a bag. I need it back. Huh? And you came after us? All alone? <laughs> eh, what a brave guy. Too bad you're going to end up giving us all your crap, too. out with a stick. Damn, man. I, I'll give you back the bag. Forgive us, please. We'll be going now. Run away! I got the bag with medicine, so I better get back to cut Koizumi as, as soon as I can. Yeah, hopefully I can get into at least some story mission tonight. Got a little bit too distracted with side missions today. There is another side mission right... Oh, that's the pocket circuit. Okay, which I don't need to do. Yeah, <laughs> tough guys go down like this. Yeah, I took a wooden stick and whack, 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 done. Wait, no, I wanted to go this way. And it's probably, let's see. Can I get by without getting caught? I don't think so. Pretty sure. Okay. Nope. I should be hearing from them around now. Dang it. I heard the Blue Moon Show Pub close down for good. Aw, oh, man. I love the Banana Hammock Show. Nanny. Huh? What are they talking about? Okay, we're gonna have to. Hmm? Who could be calling me? Hello? Oh, Kiryu san! It's Sasazuka from the Blue Moon. You know, at the interview? It pains me to say this, but the show pub was seized to pay for the owner's debts. So that rumor was true, huh? Yes, unfortunately. 
Anyway, we have to settle the fee you pay and everything. So, you, can you meet me in front of the Millennium Tower? Thanks. Millennium Tower? Okay, I'm heading there now. I'm really sorry for the trouble. But it seems like a setup to me. First, I need to head to the front of the Millennium Tower to understand what's going on. Okay, no time like the present. Yeah, that reeks of setup to me. Boy. Hey, I got your bag back. Eh? You did? Oh, thank you. Can I have it, please? I need to take my medicine. Uh. Yeah, sure. Oh, I can't thank you enough. Yeah, no like the, time like the present after I do other stuff. <sighs> you saved my life. I would have died right out here on the streets. Yeah, it's a good thing I passed by. Eh. Truly. I'll make it a point to carry my medicine separately from my valuables from now on. Uh. That's a good idea. Oh, by the way, I'd like to offer you something to thank you properly. That's not necessary. Is this the Majima quest? I, I get the feeling this isn't the Majima quest. Yeah. No, if I just let you walk away, I can never live with myself. It's not much, but please take this. 150,000 yen, I'll take it. There, I can't thank you enough. I guess I should get going now. Hmm. Yeah. Watch yourself out there. Hi. I will. Huh. Huh? Oh, it's right in front of the Majima quest. Of course it is. Is this the medicine? Boy. Hey, wait! I think you need this. So I'm going to have to track that guy down and give him back his medicine. Okay. That's fine. Just go down to the end. Oh. Isn't this the place where Nishida mentioned? Wait. Is that Majima-san? He looks ill. Wait. The zombie Majima? Yeah. <laughs> Why is he a zombie? Hmm. What the? <laughs> Damn it! Let go of me! Majima achievement unlocked. Majima of the end. Ah. Ah. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Sir, are you okay? Nishida, what the hell is happening? What happened to Majima-san? The boss has turned. He's a zombie now. A zombie. What do you mean? The zombie Majima is more powerful than ever. If he bites you, you'll turn too. It's too late for me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, tell me how this happened. If you want to survive, run. The Majima family is infected, and we're all over Kamurocho. <laughs> zombie! Help me! What are those screams? Are you guys hurting people? Rawr. The hell? Majima son became a zombie? No way. The hell is this? Majima son, snap out of it. Pull yourself together. Rawr. Here you chan. Give me a little taste. Uh damn it, my words don't seem to reach him anymore. At this point, it would be mercy to stop him. I have to before he puts the whole city in danger. Wait. 
I was not expecting zombies in my fighting game. This is such a tonal change. It's, I mean, and that's what it's known for. But still. Still not done. Okay. This is why it's so hard to entertain the appeal, uh, to explain the appeal of the Yakuza games. Yeah, what they do should not work. I mean, it, it, it goes against all the rules of storytelling. I'm also generally not a fan of zombie storylines in games that are not zombie games. But, it's, I mean, this is only marginally zombified. Oh. This time it's somehow doesn't feel outside the realm of possibility for this. Eh. Um, unless punching, beating him up cures him. Oof. Oof. You did it, sir. You took down all the zombies. Yeah, I'm just glad I avoided being turned into a zombie myself. Wait. You're okay? I thought you got bitten and became a zombie. Huh? Well, about that. <laughs> Everything went just as planned, Kiryu-chan. You're practically invisible in zombie form. How many times am I going to have to bury you? Mm. Wait. What did you mean, just as planned? And what the hell are you doing? And zombies even do... Whatever the hell this dance you're doing is. This is... Diaper Guy's dance. Ah, yeah, right. I ain't a damn zombie. I'm alive and well. Mm. What's going on here? Yeah, back the gear to get one of them seriously. Uh. I wanted to surprise you, Kiryu-chan. This time I got the whole Majima family in on the act. 
Mm. Wait, what? See, we were having a brainstorming session about how to get you to take a fight seriously, and we had the zombie flick on in the background. Then it hit me. Huh. We hired a crap ton of experts and some makeup artists from the movie biz, and then we had ourselves a little epidemic. <sighs> this is all just an elaborate plan of yours. I can't believe how much of my time you just wasted. <laughs> no way, man. You got any idea how much this stunt cost? Crap, I practically went through a whole B-movie budget. Oh, I did have cameras rolling. Maybe you can cut it up and make a real B-movie out of it. Or maybe I can start a professional flash mob. The Flash Majima. <laughs> now I'm dreaming big, Kiryu chan uh? Yeah, and I'm still waiting to wake up from this nightmare. Uh. Oh well, I lost the fight. But I'm glad I got to see Kiryu chan take himself so seriously. That's so. Anyway, I gotta come up with some more fun stuff for ya. Hope you're looking forward to next time, Kiryu chan Can't believe he went this far just to say to fight with me. Much of his conviction for fighting is real. Maybe even I could learn from that. Learn Dragon's Heat Gauge. That's so dumb. Mm. Kano said he was going to try making money in the Champion District. Oh, I guess. We got another side mission. Oh. oh, and actually, actually, but before we go with that, we're at the 40 minute mark. So we're going to pause right here. And we're going to move over here. We'll continue on with this uh, in the next episode. Uh, but it is time to close out this particular YouTube video. So sorry for cutting off so quickly, but um, need to get on to the next episode. So thank you very much for being here, folks, if you're watching on YouTube. I really appreciate having you around. Uh, if you do like what I'm doing here, please make sure that you help me out by clicking on the like button, commenting on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and click the notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos come up on the channel. I do try to post new videos to the channel every Monday through Friday, so it's a great way to catch up on some of the old streams we've done, some of the old series as well, as keep in touch with the current Stream as well. If you'd like to follow any of my other social media channels, you can find links down in the description of the doobly doo uh, on the Twitch side. Uh, all of them are there, including my Discord, which we are trying to get a little more active, and Twitter, Facebook, the whole gamut. Hope to see you guys there. But with that all said, again, I hope that you enjoyed, and until I see you next time, game on, lovelies. <laughs>